Woodgrove Bank maintains a number of custom-developed applications which now run on VM-based servers. Maintaining and improving these applications necessitates a test and development environment which was previously based on physical servers. Woodgrove Bank would like to reduce the effort involved in managing and maintaining the test environment while also increasing consistency between test and production environments. To respond to this challenge, Woodgrove Bank will use the Virtual Machine Manager or VMM self-service portal component. The VMM self-service portal is an optional web-based component that a VMM administrator can configure to enable end users to create and manage their own virtual machines within a controlled environment. Self-service can be particularly useful in test and development environments where there is a frequent need to provision and tear down virtual machines. These tasks are much easier with virtual machines than with physical computers. VMM enables the Woodgrove Bank IT administrators to delegate these tasks to end users. The first part of configuring the VMM self-service portal for use in Woodgrove Bank's environment is to create a VMM host group. This host group will contain any Hyper-V hosts that can be used to place VMs created by self-service users. Here we can see how a VMM administrator creates policies to control self-service usage. The VMM administrator defines self-service policies that determine which templates self-service users can use to create virtual machines, how many virtual machines they can deploy, which hosts their virtual machines can run on, and which actions they can take on their virtual machines. A self-service policy grants a user or group permissions to create, manage, and connect to virtual machines through the Virtual Machine Manager self-service portal. The self-service quota allows administrators to determine how many VMs each self-service group can create. This feature of VMM gives self-service users flexibility in creating and configuring the VMs they need while allowing the Hyper-V administrator to prevent resource overallocation. So here we'll log in as a self-service user and create a VM. The administrator determines which VM templates are made available to self-service users. Templates can be created either from scratch or an existing virtual machine can be converted into a template. By assigning templates to self-service user roles, the Hyper-V administrator can provide self-service users with the types of VMs they need to create without allowing self-service users to create VMs outside the parameters the Hyper-V administrator has determined. 